Hi everyone, Tannis here from the Creative Outpost. First of all, I want to thank you all for all the incredible views of the album I built about a month ago with Graphic 45's Little One Collection. Now some of you have asked for a tutorial, so I am doing a tutorial for you right now. It will be close to what the album I built, but I don't build any two things the same, so we will just go from there. What you need to start is two 8x8 pieces of chipboard, one 8 by 4 piece of chipboard, and yes, I have ripped stuff off here because I was doing something, trying it, and now I can do it for you. And then we need two pieces of 10 by 10 cardstock and one piece of 10 by 11 cardstock. Okay, I'll have all that in the, all the instructions, cutting instructions will be in the comments below. So, first of all, I like this 10 by 10 because I want approximately an inch all the way around. Now, I use a combination of sequang and glue. You can see that I've peeled paper off of here. I'll be honest, I started taping this, it was going well, and then I don't know what happened, it went sideways. So in order for me to show you this properly, I had to rip it off so I could do it again. So, that's fine. I will do one on camera. I have one off camera so I can have this part done for you. So I used, as I'm sure you can see, a combination of sequang and I used my art glitter glue. I use the art glitter glue in between on here so I don't have any of those sort of air pockets that I used to get on the covers. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. If you want to do all sequang, go ahead. If you want to do all glue, go ahead. There really is no wrong way, guys. This is all personal preference and it's just, I'm telling you what works for me. So, I just literally get glue then in between all of these. It really helps to adhere it. You're going to hear the word burnish a lot. So, if you have a bone folder or some kind of tool like that, make sure you have it handy because we're going to use it. Okay. And yes, I often do reuse from albums. I've only been making albums for maybe six, seven years grand total. And I've watched the odd tutorial, not very many. This easy wrap actually comes from Tamara at Country Craft Creation, so you can Google that and you can find it. So I eyeball this. I put my eight and a half, eight and, sorry, eight by eight piece of chipboard on approximately in the middle. So I've got about an inch around each side. Burnish it down. I happen to like this big folder from We Are Memory Makers for this sort of thing. Probably not a bad idea to flip it over and just give it a quick burnish here. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to just work those edges. Give them a little bend. Another really quick easy tr trick is to take your bone folder and run it just along the edge there just to help that paper crease for when you're going to wrap it. Okay, now there are tools for this but I again just eyeball it. And if I haven't thanked you all yet for all of the amazing views on my walkthrough video of this album, thank you. It's been amazing. You asked for a tutorial, I'm doing my best. So now you can see I cut it off. Now what I like to do, this is just something I do, with these cut off pieces, when I don't glue them everywhere else, what I do, and this glue does dry clear, thank goodness, is I just put these pieces in the corner. And no, I don't really match, I just put them down. The reason I do this is when I don't use black chipboard, as this one is not black chipboard, I occasionally cut these a little close, or maybe I don't quite get it perfect, because I don't really worry about perfect. I just enjoy the process, I'll be honest with you. Is I found that then I was going back in with a black Sharpie and coloring them, which is fine, or painting them, but I had all these scraps of paper kicking around. I'm like, why am I leaving all these triangles around? So I just decided to use them in the corners. I like the look it gives, so that's why I do it. Okay. Alright, so now what I do here 
is I do use, again, both the Sook Wing and the Art Glitter Glue. I can use the thinner one. Okay. I run a piece of this up top. You could just do the glue if you wanted to. One trick I do like, guys, is I like to put a bead of glue right here where I'm going to fold it. It is going to make for a cleaner edge. It will really stick it down well. And then get lots of glue in there. Now it's wet glue, so, I mean, if you've got it oozing out everywhere, you're going to have to wipe it off. Some people fold in the middle. I just kind of go where it grabs me. Bring that in. And I'm going to get that tool, and you're going to see what I mean. See how it just sticks it down there nice? Got that nice clean edge. Go back in, make sure I've got this pressed down. You can see glue sticking out. It does dry clear, guys. Okay, I'm just going to do this all the way around. And you, in minutes, will have the cover of your album wrapped. As I mentioned, I did one off camera so we already have one wrapped then we'll do this one together we'll do the spine and you'll see how fast this part of the album goes and then we'll get the pocket pages made and we might decorate in part two just because of the way I decorate okay there we go two sides down Pretty straightforward. Again, the sip wing is a personal preference. You don't have to do it. Uh, there are lots of people that use just the art glitter glue. This is an amazing product. I love it. I get it from my local retailer. Uh, it's Tanya Powell at All Scrapbook Essentials in Kamloops, BC. Yes, I'm in Canada. One thing about art glitter glue is it does not ship when it's cold. So, I mean, right now we're in the middle of summer and it's 40 degrees here, so it's very warm, so I don't have to worry about that. But in the wintertime it doesn't ship, so I always make sure I have a large supply on hand, as I use a great deal of it. Okay, so if I have an overhang like that one, it's not really enough to rip off. I mean, sometimes I do. I just literally fold it in. <laughs> here we go on that edge. Get the glue on here. I do, and I really recommend when using our glitter glue, that nice silver tip, because it gives you a nice fine bead of glue and you're not getting great big globs of glue. Okay, there we go. There is one of our covers wrapped. As I mentioned, I already had one wrapped, so there is our second one. You can see I'm going to fix that, not to worry. As I told you, I'd rip stuff off. So, we have two covers completely wrapped. Again, a 10 by 10 piece of cardstock was used to wrap your 8 by 8 piece of chipboard. Now I've got my 8 by 4 spine. This is, surprise, surprise, the leftover from the 12 by 12 chipboard. For that, I'm going to use this 10 by 11. Make sure I grab the right piece here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So this is my 10 by 11, I have to double check that, piece of cardstock. Now, the reason I do this is I like three inches on either side of my spine. But I still only need the inch at the top and the bottom to wrap it, because only the top and the bottom in this are getting wrapped. But, and again, I will use my corner pieces or corner pieces from scraps, depending how these ones cut. Okay, sometimes if you don't really kind of rub your hand over these to make sure they're stuck down, they're a bit of a pain to peel. People have all kinds of techniques. Fingernails would also help. Okay, here we go. So here's our spine. Again, guys, eyeballing it. Take my burnisher, get that flattened down. Okay. Now, this one, 
because you're literally you could work you could work the ends that's all you're wrapping you will come around you'll understand the sides after you could go here because you are it is going to fold after just go around this with your bone folder there we go okay so now i'm going to come in and i'm just going to cut to that corner It doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to cut an angle down to that corner. It's a long piece. Again, I'm eyeballing. Get my flap to there. Cut this out. Okay. Now I want this to the corner. So it's on an angle. All right. And yes, this is a long, longer piece of paper. It's a bit unruly, but really, it's not that big a deal. Okay, cut this one down to the corner. I'm just tapering it so it just fits nicer in my book. Okay, one more here. As you can see, when I say I eyeball things, I really do eyeball them, guys. I mean, I just do. And it takes me a minute to figure out which way I'm cutting. Okay, there we go. Now, we used those corners before. I could literally just go in here and trim this to make a corner. Okay. I'll glue those down because we don't wrap this other than the top and bottom. The sides are covered by our spine. So give this one a bit of glue. Okay. That one's a bit wonked, so all else fails. Trim away. I don't like that one. I'm taking it off. Okay, <laughs> get a straight edge. There we go. That works better. Okay. So I'm sure by now you have figured out that when I create these things, I literally do just go along and do them. Which is why often when people say to me, is there a tutorial? The answer they get from me is, I'm, I'm working on it. Because I truly am. It's just sometimes, especially if I've given the book away like I did with this one, I actually have to watch the walkthrough to see remotely what I did. Because I just, yeah, that one I glued the wrong side, so I'll just put glue on this side, glue on the other side will dry fine. Okay, so there. Now, to make this adhere just a little easier, it's sometimes nice to just taper those a bit down to the corner. Turn this and taper it down to the corner. Do you like my nice, fine, fussy cutting scissors? I know they're huge, but they work for me. Here, this I'm not going to use Sukwang on this flap. I am just going to use glue, so you can see that it is possible just to use glue, too. Make sure you get that edge in there really well. Okay, now I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to do what we did before, which is burnish, burnish, burnish. Work that down, make sure it adheres. Okay, same on this side. I'm going to have to get a new art glitter glue soon. I think I'm running out. And sometimes too, it gets a bit clogged. I mean, I've had this, I've had this particular tip, guys. 
for oh five years however long I've been using our glitter glue and I just keep flipping it from bottle to bottle and now Tanya I have a great big jug bottle I can refill which is fantastic there we go so I keep using my same bottle because I love this big bottle it works for me they're nice little ones if you like little bottles I just go through so much glue it just never seems to work for me all right let's close this up for a little bit okay get this one pulled over burnished and down we go all right okay now you're going to say how the heck are you going to attach that to your covers well going to give it a little bend and now I'm going to take my covers and I am going to adhere them like this. I'm going to stick them on like that. Now you could do it that way, you could wrap it this way, whichever way you prefer. I prefer it inside which is why I'm going to do it inside. All right, so I only use a piece of sewing on here. You see what I'm doing? Okay. On this edge. The rest of it is glue. The reason for that is I really want this to be malleable for a few minutes to make sure I have it lined up where I want it. And the glue gives me that. You can, you've got a couple of minutes, not long, but you have a couple of minutes to reposition it if you need to. I know it sounds like I'm scraping, but it's just because of the, the tip. And I just have it, so I only get little bits out at a time. Okay, now, I line this up edge to edge. See how that, then I come in here and I make sure that this is burnished down. My big folder, I really like it here. I also run this in here, sorry, in here. Okay, cover number one is on. You can see I got bits of glue on everything. I take, I cover it all up so it's all good. Okay sure we're glued on. If I didn't like that and I thought that there wasn't enough glue in there, that's the beauty of this tip. And it works. <laughs> Bear with me guys, I pulled it off accidentally and so it does get a bit gooped when I do that. Okay. There we go. Okay. So you could go back in here. This has plenty of glue in it, but I'm just showing you. You could go back in here you could add more glue, come back in here, bring your burnishing tool right there. Then you got a bit of glue on there, you want it wiped off, you just take a towel, wipe it off. So we've got that in there. Put it over on this side, make sure it's really worked in there work down. Okay, now our second cover. So I'm going to really make sure this is burnished over so it's a little easier to glue. And this one I am just going to glue. You can see. You will see that this will work just fine. Got my art glitter glue everywhere. Okay. Now, because I always need to put it this way, it's the only way I can get it to work for me. Line it up again. Make sure we're lined up. I give it a good press. Get this open. Burnish this down. This side. Burnish it down. 
that little bit of glue bothers you, wipe it off. Doesn't really bother me. It never does bother me, guys. It really doesn't. Okay. There is our album put together. I know, it's that fast. As I said, this Easy Wrap album you can find on Country Craft Creations. So she's got a tutorial there. Now we're going to do our spine. So what I did for the spine was I cut a piece of 12 by 12 chip, or 12 by 12 cardstock at seven and a half. Then I went in and I scored it the first line at two inches. Then I scored every three quarters of an inch to 10 and a quarter. Then we're going to take our sequang. We're going to just get these folded. We are going to, so you're thinking, how do I know where it goes? Well, you can see where I folded it up to the point. These are flat. This is folded to a point. That one is flat, folded to a point. Put the sequang on. I like sequang in here. Okay. So, you can see, there we go. There's our first hinge. Let's move this over here so I'm not doing my usual working on top of everything. Okay, burnish that now. Now I go here, pull this off. There is my second hinge. Okay, second hinge. Now, my third hinge. And yes, guys, I did dry fit beforehand to see how many hinges would fit on this four inch spine. Typically a four inch spine, I use a 12 inch wide piece of cardstock. And then that is what sets my spine. Okay, there we go. There's our spine. So now, what I like to do, on the, you can see I tapered the one side. You can taper both sides, and literally to do that, all you do is you take your scissors and you just do a slight angle. Down. This now is going to get adhered onto here. This I just center. These flaps are fine for overhang. That goes on here and then we are going to adhere the pages. So I'm going to glue this on and I'll be right back. Okay, as promised, we're just gluing this down. So I have used Sequang on the back, as well as our glitter glue, and I'm just making sure in here that it's very adhered. Now, you are going to be bending these hinges six ways a Sunday, so it is fine to play with them here, get them used to being moved. Now you're going to say, well, what about these flaps? That's So, now I've got it where I want it. Now I glue this down. And again, I'm going to burnish that and make sure that it's down nice and flat. Okay, burnish that. Now, I'm just going to crease that. So when my book closes, you'll see that that's creased. My cut, whatever piece of paper I put here is going to hold that down. Just an extra little security, I guess, if you wanted to say that. Okay, now let's get some art glitter glue down here. Okay. So, crease this again. Whoops. There we go. Make sure this is down very, very good. Okay. There we go. Now you're going, okay, now we got to make those pocket pages. Well, are you in for a treat? This is a wonderful technique. For this, you make your 
one side of your base page one inch wider than your spine. Now my hinge here is seven and a half. So I've made this actually eight and five eighths because I always seem to need that little extra bit of give. I score it at the one quarter and then I'm going to attach it onto here. Now, let me show you what I do. So I take my scoreboard, I score it, and I dry fit. And I make sure that when, and I'm sorry folks, I have to turn it this way, I can't do it sideways. When I come here, you can see this flap. So I'm going to line this up right at the bottom. I'm going to be gluing that down. That is going to fold over, that is going to fold over. But I want that a little bit. Don't look here for it to be straight because that is going to make you crazy. What you need to do is just check on here. I'm happy with that. Okay. So bring out my glitter glue again. I am going to glue this hinge. So you can see that I'm gluing the side of this hinge. Again, I line this up, make sure I'm happy with it. Put that down. I like that on that edge. I like that on that edge. Okay, now I'm just going to add some glue here. Add some glue here. I'm going to push these down. And then, so we know that this is a half inch bigger. We now have a seven and a half, a seven and a half inch page. We now take a seven and a half by seven and a half cover piece and we glue it over top. So here you have a couple of options and I do always dry fit, always, 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 always. So here what you can do is, now when I look at this, that's a hair longer than I want. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off of it. Not much, just a bit. That's personal preference. Okay. So, dry fit there, that works. I can leave this as a complete pocket page, or I can glue the whole thing down. I'm going to use it as a pocket page. So, that means glue on here, and glue up these edges. I like the idea of pocket pages, so I can put tuck treasures in them after. Okay, so now get these to the get this to the corners. There we go. Get this down here. Do I like where it is? Yes I do. No I don't. Turn it around. There we go. Okay. So I am not loving this piece of paper. Something is a bit off. There we go. Okay, so now, and I burnish this. And, oh, see, and then I shifted it. Okay, this is the beauty of our glitter glue. This is not sticking down, which is the problem. I did not burnish that well. I'm going to burnish that better so it stays bent. Burnish that so it stays bent. Okay, I am now going to add far more art glitter glue. And this happens, guys, even if you've built an album a hundred times, this does happen. So this is good to see. Okay, again, happy. All right, let's get our art glitter glue down here. And here. Get it up here, both sides. As I said, I want this to be a pocket. Now I have a full pocket, so I'm quite happy about this. I line it up there. Okay. And I'm not sure why when I move it away it doesn't, I don't like it. There we go. There we go. Okay. So there we have our first pocket page. And I'm going to be using these let me tell you, I'm going to be using these 
like crazy. I'm going to be adding flips and flaps to them. I'm going to be doing all kinds of things. Let's do one more page. Do it this way. All right. So take this one. Do it this way so you can see easier. That's going to come here. Now, this is where, if for some reason these weren't, something wasn't 100% straight, and this one is not 100% straight. That is the one I had to rip off. Okay. So, see here, I can line these pages up. So I can line up both these edges, and I can make it work. So now when I come in here, that's going to go there, that's going to go there. Then I'm going to add my next seven and a half by seven and a half page. Oh, sorry, I'm all twisted here. Sorry about that. Now you're going to have two pages. You're going to do this four times. And then tomorrow I'm going to come back and we are going to do our flips and flaps and decorate. But let's get these pages on. Okay. All right. Glitter glue time. I'm not sure why they call it art glitter glue. There's no glitter in it. Maybe it's really good for glitter. I don't know. I don't use a ton of glitter, so I don't know that answer. And as you can see, because you work these pages so much, they lay flat, which is why they're called lay flat pages. Okay. Now this one, if you wanted to only have a part pocket, you could glue it halfway up. But I don't want it halfway up. I've thought about it a few times, and every time I think I'm going to do it, I don't. So I'm just going to stick with what I do. <laughs> okay. Dry fit again. Make sure I'm happy. I do, if I make an 8x8 album, I try and make my pages 7.5 by 7.5. That way, what I find is they don't stick out. If that doesn't bother you, make them 8 by 8 Like, really, it's your album. It's what you want. I just find sometimes when I've got stuff sticking out, it makes it a bit difficult for me, that's all. Okay, line these up again. Now I will tell you there are times I've come back and done a little trim on my pages because as you've noticed, I eyeball everything. I don't believe that anyone other than the creator of this book is going to notice if something is maybe a slight eighth of an inch off, like right there. By the time I get decorator paper on it, you're not even going to notice. There's two pages. Shall we do two more quick? Let's do two more quick. Or one more quick, because I'll fix that one page. Okay, so here, here I've scored this side. Okay, then I came back and I measured this side first to make sure it was going to work. So it is. So now I'll fold that, make sure I burnish it really well. Okay. And then I'm going to come in here very happy with that. That's going to glue on there. Okay, so let's see if I can do one this way. Okay, so you can see the glue there. You can see that I put this right along that edge. Fold this in here burnish that down, flip these edges over, and if you think, wow, the third one went on way easier than the first two, that quite often happens. You get more comfortable with it. You start to realize that, wow, I can do this. And really, guys, you can do this. Everyone can do this. Okay. That's going to work. Let's get the glue on here. All right. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm just going to make sure to burnish that down. And sometimes when I burnish it slides a little bit. So then I go back and I fix it. I tend to push a little hard. So that's the other beauty of both the art glitter glue. Okay. Another page done. Well, shall we do one more page and then we will call it a day in order to allow me to go and fix the... Um, to get the rest of it on. So this one's a little small, so I'm actually going to mark it. I'm going to show you what I do. So I'm going to mark it there. I'm going to mark it there. It's the right length. Okay. So it is the right length. Make sure that it's, yeah, it's going to be the right length. Got my scoreboard. I got my mark right here. So this is going to be a very narrow hinge on this side. I don't know if that'll work on my mark on this side. We'll see if it's going to work. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that's a little too narrow. Okay. So I'm just going to cut one quick, guys, so we can do this problem. We'll see what I do with that one later. We will save it for something. Okay, so now we have our proper one. Here we go. I'm going to score it right here. I'm still going to mark it, like I said. So fold this on here, just to make sure, because I like that right there. And then really, it saves me from having to do a whole bunch of fancy measuring. There we go. I know. That's literally how fast it is. Burnish those. Let's get our last page on, guys. Look at us go. Wow. Okay. Last page is going to be on. Burnish it down. Make sure. Look at that. They all line up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. A little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. And then I just need my seven and a half by seven and a half piece of paper to go on top. Which is right there. Okay. Not sure what I was doing there. <laughs> well, we'll just make that go at the bottom, is what we will do. Sometimes you get a little zealous with your gluing, and you just change it up. That's now my bottom. These are my sides. And burnish. So there we go, guys. In less than an hour, I think, we have our album wrapped, our pocket pages in, and tomorrow we will start, you can see how they don't stick out, we will start the flips, the flaps, and the decorating. Have a great day. Part two coming at you. This was part one on how to build the album. Part two will be the flips and flaps and decorating. See you soon. Have a great day. Remember to create like crazy and cut with wild abandon.